everybody and welcome along to another stream of the Fernando Alonso career mode. Today, well, we're currently on a winning streak. Can we continue it? I don't know if we can. We're nerfing ourselves very hard. If you didn't see the previous episode, basically we're having to overcome a little bit of a game bug uh, whereby we were getting too many resource points. We've now corrected it, uh, but obviously it's put us a bit ahead of the curve where we should be. So rather than just dominating the rest of the season because we're just ahead of the development curve, we're nerfing ourselves. How are we doing that? Well, we're sticking to 110 AI, which is very high on certain tracks. Today is Spain. I think that's quite high for Spain. We're also running default setups only. So both of those things combined, I think would be trouble. Also for upgrades, we're only doing rushed durability upgrades. So eventually that will harm us. But for now, we have still got a very good car. So it's the other two that are going to affect us. And I think around Spain, default setup, 110 AI, I think we're going to struggle. Let's get into it. All right, oh good. Yep. I'm about to do nothing but durability upgrades and the morale's gone down. Just what I needed. You'd love to see it. Four wins in a row, three fast stops in a row. It's been unbelievable. Uh, we've split a third in the standings, as you can see. Just 10 points off Charlotte Clerk. We could take the championship lead today. Fourth for the construct as well. Mercedes still outscoring us by a point. So I think we needed that little run to even have a chance. I said I was trying to, going to try and fight Mercedes, but I've needed I've needed that run of wins. So even be with them, we're still not even getting them. Because frankly, what's Stroll doing? I mean, 11th place in the last race. And he's got the best car in F1. And he's finished with P11. Is he all right? We have still got a few upgrades right coming through. Uh, none for this none for this race. We have still got a few more coming through over the next couple of races, ones we've got before. But again, now we're going to spend all our resource points on rush durability upgrades only. So, combustion engine, sure. Rush that one on for Canada. Give it to me. One of those as well. Cool. And I don't think we can do anything else. Oh, we can. Three durability upgrades all coming on ASAP. All rushed. So, uh, we're trying to knock ourselves as hard as we can. Help us a little bit. Uh... <laughs> As you may have heard, Fernando Alonso had a press conference with their agent this morning announcing their decision to retire from Formula 1. That's me! I'm, I'm Fernando Alonso. <laughs> Just to make it clear, I'm not actually Fernando Alonso. I'm a custom driver called Fernando Alonso that's, that's also Spanish. If you look at my face, yeah, it's not very, it's not very Alonso like, but we skip over that. We replaced Alonso. So Alonso is not in F1, yet he's announced his retirement from Formula 1. You, I, I hate to break it to you, mate. You're already nerfed out by the British Fernando Alonso. <laughs> so I was worried that he was going to potentially... Well, I wasn't worried. I was kind of I was kind of keen for him to come in and replace Lance Stroll so we can have an all-Alonso team. Unless he replaces him mid-season, that's not going to happen now. Okay, fine. Whatever. Very strange. So, do you want to change the tyre allocation? Didn't work in two-player career. It just didn't change. Yeah, I'll, I'll try for the softer allocation. Let's see if it works or not. Let's crack on. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? It's been too fast. I've only been live for 20 minutes. We're already going into quality. What the hell is this? Prediction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. My bad. Well, look, we keep winning, but we're on 110 AI default setup. Wait. I didn't change the AI. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something. We were too fast, you see. Not enough menus. Not enough waffle. We could change it for the race. It's okay. It's okay. But I'll do one lap to make sure that it is 90 AI. But if it is 90 AI, I'm sure that lap will see us on pole. And in which case, then I'll, I'll restart the session and we'll start from the back of the grid. That's my punishment. Oh, good. I mean, I said we were nerfing ourselves. I didn't intend to start from the back, but if this is 90 AI, we'll have to. We'll be too, we'll be too quick. We'll be smash it on pole. 14 3 for Gasly. 13 8 for my teammate. Let's check. Let's check. 13 8 for my teammate. 11 5. Oh, look at the state of it. 1.6 seconds up on pole. All right. Well, fine. We have to restart, obviously. Inters. That's the solution. Inter's championship, guys. God, this is so cheesy, man. I'm sorry, guys. I, I mean, this is my mistake. So we've got to keep the tyres as cool as possible. That's the key here. I'll try and barely touch the throttle. Surely this will still put us at the back of the grid, but you never know. Inter's aren't as bad at this year's game as they were on last year's because they don't overheat so badly. In the previous try on Slicks, we were 1.6 seconds up on pole position. That won't be the case with Inter's. Okay, more speed through there. They're not actually that bad. They're not actually that bad. But the feeling I've got now, unless they start overheating, I might not be at the back. I don't think we'll be at the top, but I don't think we'll be at the back either. I don't know what the field spread's like. That's about got it stopped. I'm probably four tenths down. I assume that's on the... On maybe I say if that's on Sarge and then it's GG's. It's still flat on inters. Just, just. Tires, they're overheated. That's deep. No. Don't ball it now. Where are we going to be on intermediate tires on a dry track, guys? P19. <laughs> we tried our hardest. We beat Logan Sargent only. We weren't a million miles off the back. And we do actually gain from Piastri getting a penalty. We win this race with default setup on 110 AI from basically the back of the grid. And that's 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 glorious. The other thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm not going to take a new engine. Normally, 
being at the back of the grid in a competitive car, we take an engine. Of course we would. But again, it just I shouldn't be here. I'm only here because I got the settings wrong. I'm not going to give myself an advantage by being here at all. I'm not even going to take the new engine. We're going to roll with it. Difficulty. There you go. 90. Let's put that back up to 110. There you go. All right. There we are. 18. We're nice. With a chance of winning this title. We need you to push as hard as you can in the five remaining races. What is he talking about? There's way more than five races. There's about... I think we are doing a full season, aren't we? There's more than five races. That's so weird. Losing your seat. Wouldn't it be absolutely incredible? We got told that Fernando Alonso is retiring from the sport. We're the, we're the, we're the fake brand Fernando Alonso. It was that... I assumed... It was that Fernando Alonso, but maybe in a weird way, because we have got the same name as the Fernando Alonso that's retiring. Maybe it retires us. I doubt it. Five, there might be five races till the midpoint of the season. Is that what he meant by five races? Surely not. We'll, we'll see. Right, in terms of, uh, in terms of tires, probably start soft, go medium. That looks like a good strat to me. We'll take out a chunk of fuel as well. There you go. Wow, predictions. 78% of channel points have gone towards yes, top five. Oh, that'll do. 0 0.1. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's have a normal episode from here, shall we? We'll try our hardest from now. No more extra nerfing. We'll just do what we do. Let's do it. What a sensational launch. Look at that. Through the middle. Up to 14. Four places gained. Before we even really get going. Absolutely incredible. Yeet. Fernando Alonso's home race, by the way, at Spain. He's having none of it. Flying down the inside of tail one bit of contact there, but we're okay. All the way up to 10th already. Absolutely incredible. Hello, Gasly. No, thank you. Not today. Not today. Not on my home race. My word, what's going on here? Why are they so slow? My teammate battling for Stappen, actually. Right, can go up the inside here, probably. Yeah. Job done. P9. P9. Lovely start. Half of those, though. Normally, you gain loads on the brakes into tail one, but half of those are just off the grid. We've just got the most perfect of starts. It was beautiful. Oh, an early on the ERS there. Got a track number warning already. That's not ideal. I was terrified there of hitting that stroll. I yeeted it. And we had a very alternative line to him. We did manage to get a position at the end up to P8. But, oh, no, that's deep. No, don't do it, Magnuson. I thought I was going to hit my teammate for a second, but we're okay. So easy. A good start in this game, though. I mean, ignoring that, this start was genuinely incredible. We had a beautiful start today. But... In general, though, you, you can often gain places off the start. There's that top five. In fact, there's a, there's a podium they're battling for ahead. We're not that far back. Our pace isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But we can still fight for the win despite the default setup. Should be able to get past Lance Stroll since he's on mediums. I'm going to burn any ERS if I can help it. Just sit in his slipstream range range to get some free straight line speed. Defending, that's fine. Let him defend. They're battling hard in front as well. We'll try to go on the outside of here. Sounds to give him room there. Try to start breaking, but... Did manage to outbreak it, but not by enough. Garrett is outside comfortably up to P7 now. We were two tenths slower than the leaders. Maybe we have actually got the pace, guys. Despite all the nerfing in the world, including starting from the back accidentally today as well, maybe we have genuinely got the pace. DRS, nice. Got DRS on P3. Again, they're battling pretty hard in front, but DRS enabled now. It should be an easy overtake for whoever's overtaking. Looks like it's the Mercedes. Yeah, it's job done. No battling this time. Are we close enough? Are we close enough? Whoa, I wasn't going to, but he break down than I expected. That was more avoiding action. All right, up to P6 then. Nah. Again, it's not really a yeet corner. Just didn't want to go full, full send for it. If, it was, if that was the last lap for the lead, I'd have been straight up inside, but it's too risky this early. I did look at it, but it didn't end up breaking early, so there was nothing doing. But to be a rest just to overcome Verstappen's better exit. It's like the Mercedes is going to be able to take the Red Bull again. Job done. Staffing all over me. No thank you to Staffer. Not today. Not today. He doesn't go for it, thankfully. I think my tyre's starting to drop off. Yeah, there you go. 25%. AI's. I feel like maybe haven't fully dropped yet. I feel like I'm wearing my tyres slightly quicker than the AI. I wonder how early I should box. Get the undercut on them. Could go like now for hards. How are we supposed to box? At 14. Ah, that's a bit too early, isn't it? Yeah, it's too early yet. Oof. Oh, God. So slow. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, the clerks. Oh, my God. What's going on here? We're going to try to go the outside of two of them. That's too deep. That's too deep. We're out of the marbles. Get off that grass. Oh, hello. Bit of a tap there. We actually did overall end up getting an overtake done there. That felt too risky to go for it there. That was a proper F1 style stuff. That's what you often see in F1. They're just absolutely scrabbling all over the place. Perez wasn't involved with that, I don't believe. So, actually, overall... Our group didn't lose any time, I believe. Okay, this is not good. The medium runner of Carlos Sainz now leads the race. 
And he'll be quick on those mediums right now. I also just realised, my teammate Stroll got past Max Verstappen. Definitely got better pace than I expected in this race. But this, this is actually close now, which is at least fun. Oh, stop doing that, Alex. Yeah, we, we're very slightly quicker than the leaders right now. We're getting too long with DRS. Oh, Russell's going for it again here. Hopefully he's clean past by turn one, which he is. That's perfect, because, well, it's still a bit slow, but... They were side by side, they'd be slower. Stroll could get a good result here. It's possible. It's not likely, but it's possible. Still side by side with Verstappen, though. He's cost himself DRS on everybody else, so... That's going to cement him in probably best case P7. Right, what do we do about these guys? I've got very similar pace to them. We just burn to be arrested, just try and get past them and see what we can do from there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm never quite close enough. We just, we're well, your third in DRS trade. It's so hard to do anything. I'm gaining a bit behind. here, but we're into the engine, really. Eat it. Oh, that was deep. My word, that was a send. That was a send. I absolutely went for it. We're properly going for the moves today, guys. We're not sitting back today. We're going for this. Where am I going? Get off those marbles. Let's get back in DRS range of Russell. He's absolutely nailed this turn, which I have done. It's going to be close. I don't think I got it. I think I missed out. Possibly by two thousandths. I didn't get it. Right, let's keep burning the DRS though. We need to get back in DRS range. Oh, we're going to get DRS. It's going to be close again. We do. We do. We get DRS. I had to burn a lot of DRS that last lap to get it, but we do get it. Okay. These tyres are not good now. I might, I might box, you know. I, get, I think I'll get medium though, because the, the tyre wear is not too bad on these tyres. 40, uh, still a few laps to go, really. I think I'll wait till next lap. When will we come out? P20, that's good. We'll come out the back. Worst case scenario, we've only got two Williams in front of us. It's not a big pack of cars that we're going to be struggling with. One of, them's on, one of the leaders is on soft, one of the leaders is on medium. So one of them will come in before the other. I cannot be undercut by the leaders. I need to undercut them, in fact. I need to make sure I secure the undercut. I don't know if it's too early, but I'm coming in. I mean, practice the pit in. About right. We get our mediums, guys. We're going to go for the undercut. Soft runners are probably boxing in the, in the next lap or two. So if I can get a good undercut here, I should be right with the leaders when they come out. We get traffic. It's not ideal. It's fine. Just make sure I can nail him on the DRS zone. Ah, oh, tempted to go for it there, but it's just too. Oh, so slow. So slow. Oh, he's using the DRS. Chill out, dude. Chill out. All right, we're going to get DRS on Albon as well. We have to get Albon on the next straight. They're actually in now. They're in now. None of the leaders in, though. It's just George Russell. But with this traffic on this outlap, are we even going to gain? We'll see. We're going to get some DRS, which is certainly surely going to help. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. It's going to be close. I think we're just going to get him. Just going to get him. Basically, only because of DRS, and he is behind Alex Albon. So that could cost him a little bit of time in the traffic as well. All right, we gain one position in the pits. It's the leaders. The leaders are surely going to box this lap, but now we need a big lap. Now we've got no traffic. Well, I say no traffic. We are going to catch the freeze by the end of the lap, I'm pretty sure. But right now, we've got no traffic. So just make hay while the sun shines here. Push as hard as we can. But look how much Russell's losing, look. He is on hard tyres, interestingly, as well. Look how quickly we caught De Vries. I know it's only De Vries. He's so slow, but I want to get the arrest on him. The lead is in. The Mercedes is in. Please box De Vries. Please box De Vries. Please box De Vries. He does. Perfect. We get the arrest as well. Where's that Mercedes? Where's that Mercedes? Fastest up of the race. There he is. There he is. I'm going to sneak some slipstream, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, my word. Straight on the outside of Lewis Hamilton. He didn't have the tyres up to temperature. He has gone for mediums as well, so we've got a couple of lap tyres disadvantaged on him, but we've snuck past him with those cold tyres, and we said, all right, if you're going to do that, we'll fly around your outside and fly around his outside we did, but he's right with us now. We should be leaving this race, though. I think Carlos Sainz should box... Well, I was going to say box this lap. He is on mediums. Oh, if, tell you what, if Carlos Sainz goes to softs near the end, that could be very interesting. Mm, right. What is Sainz going to do? Is he going to box... Oh, where am I going? Okay, how is he going to get us? I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to let him go. And I'm just going to sit behind him and get the toe. Sign still hasn't boxed. Sign still has not boxed. It's his teammate that's in. And his teammate's gone hard. Which implies Signs is going to go hard. That's very strange. This is this is the fight for the lead now. Signs is well out of it now. He's stayed out way too long on his mediums. Oh, he's Hamilton going to DRS. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hamilton might get DRS on Joe here. He could end up pulling away. Just be careful of that. We haven't got the raw pace, I don't think. To go with him. Russell on one out fresh tyres, but harder tyres. So Hamilton has got DRS. Does he get him here? If he doesn't get him, it's GG's. No, he's not going to get him, so it's fine. Signs is finally in. What, what tyre does he take? That's the big question. Does he go hard? Does he go soft? Lance finally in as well. And Joe, nice. I want to give someone to DRS though, so I can't get back past him, but we should be coming past Signs. Signs also goes hard. But I say comfortably. Look, we're not that comfortably past him. Go on then. Round the outside of Lewis Hamilton again. Don't mind if I do. Lovely jubbly. Back up to P1. Officially P1 this time. Surely he's not going to burn the DRS here, is he? He has gone for it. I had to give him room there. We'd have had a crash. 
Oh, my word. All right, Max. All right, Max. Calm down. Oh, my word. Lewis was not happy about being set on the outside there, was he? Snuck through on me. That's okay. I'm still with him. I feel it's fine. Feels going up, not down. So, Let's burn some of anything. No way, George. I'm not going to let you do what Russell Hamilton did. So, we're only holding on to this, I believe, because of DRS, really. You take away DRS. Just our raw pace. He's quicker, I'm pretty sure. So, when I hit 19%, Hamilton's got two laps of grace where he's going to be quicker. So, we're about to hit a danger zone here, guys. In fact, I could do with overtaking Hamilton, really. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Should we go on his outside again? Oh, super on the brakes that time. We got it stopped, moved down, up to back up to P1. Again, I did that because my tyre is going to start to go off a little bit this lap. So, means unless he sneaks past me somewhere, it's not possible for him to pull away from me. I'm trying to save the RS. I don't know if to try and defend down the start finish straight or not. Depends how close he is. It looks like he's going to be pretty darn close. So, I think it's better just to let him go. And he's actually slipstream this year's game is worth a lot more. Oh, it's a little bit, there's not much gap between the two Mercedes, though. I don't want to let two cars. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, George Russell just absolutely gone for it. Gone from third to first in one straight. Fair play to George. Now that's a, a, a dynamic I didn't consider. Interesting. Our tyres are well in this drop-off zone, which Hamilton is not in yet. George Russell certainly isn't in it. Same applies to, to Sainz. In fact, Sainz has got fresher tyres again. Sainz has got about four lap fresher tyres, hasn't he? I can't help but feel Russell's holding Hamilton up a little bit here. Hamilton just didn't pull away that lap. Despite my tyres being in that drop zone now, Hamilton just did not pull away. Sainz is so close. Look at him. I'm about to be arrested. Oh, good. I'm going to stay here, actually, just to keep the slip shoot. Oh, no. The slip shoot's moved. The slip shoot's moved. But Russell's very slow as well. Ah, that was close. That was very close. Squeeze out, Carlos Sainz. We're okay. Just Hamilton the lead now. Will he be able to tow Russell away from us? Let's be careful. We don't want to gift them a Mercedes 1-2. Yeah, these tyres are now in the... I can feel they've dropped. Yeah, they're at 25%. I can feel that. Still in DRS range. Still going okay. Signs again pretty close to us. Look, at, I've had to rinse my ERS the last couple of laps. All right, yeah, George was going to go for it on Hamilton. That's a good thing. If he gets clean past, he's a bit slow right now. It's not too bad. Which he does do. If he didn't get clean past, it'd be side by side and slow. They were quite slow anyway, so we're still in this fight. Oh, I need to save ERS, but Signs is absolutely crawling all over me with his fresher tyres. I could do with Hamilton overtaking here, because I think this lap, Hamilton's tyres probably should get to about 25% and he'll be a bit slower. I think he's going to get us here. Have to defend. That gives you the slipstream. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Yeah, give him the max for Stappen. Squeeze him out of the exit. Lost a chunk of time. He'll be back, he'll be back. I think there's some time though. Look at our ERS level now. We're even having to use it here just to try sure we stick with him. We're right on the limit of losing the ERS here, guys. I want to you see him struggling with the tyres. Just moving around a lot, but he's going fast enough. Signs still so close to me, man. They're so good for that last turn. I'm going to let Signs go. Am I going to let him go? I have to let him go. I can't keep burning every lap. Oh, he's suddenly slow. What's going on? Okay, What's going on? Where's his, where's his pace gone? We'll do it then. We'll do it then. If he's going to if he's gonna give us the chance to do that, we will take it. Hamilton does get up to P1. Let's hope he's a little bit slower now. It's a second though, look. It's a second. This is so marginal. Oh, turn, car turn. At least it's Hamilton leading this pack. That's slightly beneficial to us, I believe, because it will hold George Russell up. Oh, this is, I think we'll be okay for DRS, but it's unnecessarily marginal. Okay, I'm going to be side by side in front. That's going to slow him down. That's good. That'll last to catch a lot. Oh, does it not? A slight lift at the end of the straight there. Just turn out the ERS to recharge just very slightly. George Russell gets back up to P1. Please don't do it, signs. Please don't do it, signs. Please don't do it, signs. Just okay. Ah, oh, brake late, though. Too late. I can't, I, can't, I can't overtake these guys at the moment. Oh, there's a yellow flag. I wouldn't mind a safety car right now. Just to calm everything down. Let's recharge at ERS. And we go again from there. All right, we're a little bit closer now. I don't know why that last lap. We seem to have closed in a touch while also recharging ERS. Signs will drop back a little bit. What if those hard tyres... It's a bit wide, but what if those hard tyres start to go off a little bit, maybe? I'm just going to go for it again. I think they keep battling and cost each other time. They're flagged. I think they can't overtake. Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Squeeze him out. We've done it. We've done it. Up to B2 again. It's the two medium runners that lead once again. Right, I think now we need to not relinquish P2. I think with those with the two Mercedes sharing DRS, we were struggling like mad. Medium runners unite. Hamilton, what's, what are your thoughts on us working together and guaranteeing ourselves either P1 or P2? Otherwise, you've got a lot of hard runners moving down our net. We could even be P6. Wait right there to make sure they didn't outbreak themselves and hit me. Sign stays ahead, that's good, because Russell seems to be a quicker car. It's a little, little way away. It's probably where I'd like it to be, but I think we're okay. We just stick with Hamilton with DRS and just recharge his ERS bit by bit. DRS down that main straight is so damn powerful, it's worth so much, and I can't help but feel like the hard tyres have dropped off now as well. Ah, 
Ah, showing out the power there, see if I can be a bit closer. George Russell dropped out of DRS range of signs. What's up on there? I think I can do it, I think I can do it. Just. Just. This is perfect, this is perfect. Praying, praying, praying. Deep, too deep, too deep. Oh, I've got some bubbles. No, no, no. See, that's the sort of thing we also need ERS for. So I can just burn a little bit to make sure I stick with it. Oh, signs. Signs again. Got, get, got a bit confused by my line there and seems to have lost a bit of time. And I think it'd be quick enough to come back up to us. Oh, that's a lot of wheel spin. Don't need that. These tyres are certainly dropping. We've only got four laps to go. Because you didn't let signs go. Yeah, with hindsight, it really was. All right, I think we'll lift for one more lap then. I think we'll go for it. There's no front end grip. Lack of setup does not help. A touch close to Hamilton, not much. Look at that ERS, it's completely recharged now. 100% charge, I felt that's even a bit wasteful. We should have burned a little bit. All right, I think we now have to this lap and just see if we can go from there. Is that too early though? I'm gonna wait one more, I think that's, I think that's a smart decision. I felt like it was just a touch early, so he might have re-got us by the end. Oh, it's deep again, these tyres are not good. The front just don't want to do anything. They're being lazy right now. It's certainly close to Hamilton by burning a little bit of ERS now. That's deep again. Definitely close to this lap, definitely close to this lap. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. We're way, 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 way closer to it than we have been. This is absolute GG's. Oh, that's close. Right. Up to P1. Okay, good work. Great two work. laps. We can hold on to it for two laps. We've got the win. Hamilton is all over us. And he'll now get the DRS. Let's try and do what I'm doing now. Even though he's going to get DRS, if we can do just a bit of a gap. We can build a half second gap by the final turn. We're looking okay. Come on. Come on, this will be a big win. Definitely not quite the pace for this one. Because of the default setup, because of the 110 AI. Oh, that's slow. I said half a second. We just, just have got half a second. Is it going to be enough? We're burning the DRS now. I think we're okay. He's got DRS, but he's not even gaining right now. Now he's gaining, but it's too little, too late. Come on, but we're burning a lot of ERS this lap, guys. We need to keep our wits about us here. We've still got 50% of our ERS as well. We're doing okay. I was going deep there. I did a tiny bit. These front tires are not happy with me at all. They really. Oh, by the way, there's another. I forgot. There's another drop-off point. at 63%. That's why the tires start to feel awful. The tires have reached that third drop-off point, which I've never actually never worn the tires this much. Hopefully, I was in a similar situation. He's not actually that close to me, but I'll be slow from here with that one tire. Yeah, that's not good. I want to do a better run, but not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. He's in DRS, but it's not enough. Very, very worn tires, guys. Went for an early undercut in this race, and provided we don't make any big mistakes here, it's going to work out for us. Big setup, 18th on the grid, 110 AI, it can't stop us, we're P1 baby, let's go, let's go, that race was hard work man, hard work, that race was all about control and I wasn't controlling it from the front necessarily but just judging everything the best I possibly could and we still bring home another win, not a fast as that this time because we just didn't have the pace but have a quick look. That's good. That's good. Yeah, half a second off the best lap. Wowzers. Look at that. Less than a second covers the top four. Less than two seconds covers the top six. Unbelievable. What a race. What a race. And we do actually take the championship lead, do you believe? Nine points ahead of Charlotte Clerk now. This is why we're trying to nerf ourselves. Constructors, we move up to third of the constructors, but only by being level on points to Mercedes. They keep scoring such unbelievable points. Do you play against other players? Not today, but I, I, I yeah. I, I, have, I have done and I will do. Oh, oh. Two levels? Why did we get two levels? That wasn't our first win. Is it because we made lots of overtakes, do you think? Do you think a claim gets affected by overtakes? There's those durability upgrades. They were actually successful. We're rushing them to try and nerf us a little bit, but actually the durability upgrades were successful. Now, Canadian Grand Prix next, guys, which we'll do next week, but 10 days until that in game time, we've got, wow. This is the last race where we'll have a performance upgrade package, which is still a holdover from before, before we realised that we were getting too many resource points. Absolutely ginormous upgrade package going for that one. There it was. There it was. The Spanish Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso wins his home race, of course. Well, I forgot to mention that. We've got a big upgrade package for the next one, but then we've got a couple of races with zero upgrades. I think the other teams will start to catch up as well. So I think this will start to get harder. I always said by Silverstone, I think we won't be winning races anymore. Um, well, I did think it might happen before that, but certainly Silverstone. I'd be amazed if we win Silverstone. So we'll see what happens, guys. We're nerfing ourselves, but we're just trying to rebalance it. We're not trying to make ourselves 10th. We're trying to rebalance it. But somehow, we keep hooving up these wins. Fernando Alonso, absolute beast, it turns out. Anyway, guys, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.